What's going on everyone? Just to do another video updating from my last one involving, um, I guess, Lashes 225, uh, 270 uh, in his training session. Um, I had a lot of good feedback come back to me um, and people were sort of asking um, what my thoughts were on hitting that 500 kilo total at the Olympics um, or what he was going to hit at the Olympics. Um, and my thoughts on that. So I thought I'd do another video uh, just in regards to Lashes lead into the Olympics and um, thoughts of what his results will be in the Olympics. So looking at the qualifications for Tokyo 2021 now, um, I've got in front of me on my laptop the, the top three basically leading into the Olympics because that's what's going to play the biggest... Um, card for what Lasher will do because plain and simple leading to the Olympics the total number itself isn't what really matters it's what number you need to win the um, gold medal now all things being the way they are the way Lasher has gone in the last you know couple of years um, as I said in the last year he's actually only won one gold medal but his performances have been totally dominant um, so he sort of is one of those athletes when he lifts, he gets his opener in, which is usually around what second place hits on their last attempt. Um, and then he'll go from there and systematically take his attempts there to try and get as much a gap as possible from his snatch. So in the clean jerk, he doesn't quite have to go as hard unless he feels like he wants to. So in second place, we have Gore, who's at a 464 total, and then... Davuti from Iran, who's back down in 4.41. And then you have uh, Fernando from Brazil back at 436. So that's basically looking like your medal contenders for the Olympics in 2021 in Tokyo. So in regards to a 500 kilo total at the Olympics, it'll come down to multiple facts. One, what does he need to win the gold medal? Because that is the utmost importance and the thing that he and his coaching staff will look to do. Um, two, who can push him towards a 500 kilo total? Um, Gore at 464 is miles behind. Davuti's very young, but still well behind. He's over 40 kilos behind. Gore is 20 odd kilos behind. So these guys need to make up almost 10... Well, Gore needs to make up 10 kilos a lift. And then Davuti needs to make up almost 20 kilos a lift. Um, and then Fernando's back at around that 430 to 440 mark as well. So you have all these guys back around that 440 to 460 mark, somewhere in between 20 k's behind. So looking at the numbers right now, even if Lasher was to have the worst... Snatch, snatch session of his life and was to only hit 215 or 210 or something along those lines, he knows he can still make up for it in the clean and jerk and just go slightly more than everyone else. If Gore was to hit 215 or 216 around his PR again um, and Lasher was to hit the same, he knows all he has to do is a kilo more in the clean and jerk and he's won. Um, so he has a very good luxury of being just awesome at both lifts. So um, the two things that I have just said is what does it take to win the gold medal and will anyone push him? Well, at this point in time, no. No one looks like they can actually push him to reach a 500 kilo total in competition. Um, the gold medal is the point that that's why they go to the Olympics for. Um, I guess the, the one thing that could make a difference to Lasher going for those, if he is just... So far ahead, um, if he was to start on like a 215 snatch, 220 on his second, you know, for a 500 kilo total, he needs high 220s in the snatch section to limit his clean and jerk down into the low 270s. He'd almost have to start high teens in the 200s, 218, 219. And none of those guys are going to push him to start that heavy. There's just none of them are going to. 
Like I said, even if Gore has the best out of his life, he's somewhere still between that 215 and 220 mark. And Lasher would do that on his second attempt just to take first place. And then, like I said, if he wants a 500 kilo total, what would be the best way of Lasher going around to do that? Well, most my opinion would be around a 230 snatch, a 270 clean and jerk. If you watch his videos of um, his 225, 270, his 225 still look quite easy. Um, but again, that's what weight, good weightlifters do. Um, it never looks hard until it's too hard. Um, Lash's technique is so good when his form um, deteriorates, usually that's when you're probably going to miss it. Um, massively, he's not one of those guys that ever looks like he just gets a lift without a fight. In saying that, his 270 did have that for the jerk, but his snatches always look really comfortable. He either sort of gets it or misses it. He doesn't sort of ever have to fight to get it. It's either one or the other. Um... So that's just a testament to his skill and his technique being so good. So you'd think around a 230 snatch and then a 270 clean and jerk. And after his 225, he clean and jerk 270. And that 270 clean was not too bad. The jerk uh, was very heavy. You could see he had to really step forward to chase it to get it. You know, it was a small platform on a proper comp size platform. He would have saved that fine. But... There's the problem is that he then has to chuck another five kilos on his snatch and then hit the 270 afterwards, which is a massive ask even for someone as good as Lasher. So it comes down to what type of shape he's in as well. Um, if he keeps improving and his shape gets better, there's no reason why he can't do it. Like I said, the, the, my thoughts are that if he does a two, if he does that 500 kilo total, it'll be either in training or at a competition after the Olympics where. It just doesn't matter. He, the, the result of the competition is like secondary. Um, the Olympics is not that competition. The Olympics is that competition where you want to win gold uh, more than anything else um, than a total. Um, and he's got every world record anyway. <laughs> he, he can take a world record whenever he wants. That's the skill and the uh, ability of Lasher. So I guess that's kind of the overall thoughts on my my thoughts in his 500 kilo total when it'll happen i feel like it'll be after the olympics at a competition that's still massive because uh, most of the competition he does are massive uh but at a competition with the uh, the stakes aren't as high or not that the stakes are high but just at one where the result of the medal is more to an athlete like that than the actual total itself um but it is yet to be seen i could be totally wrong and he comes out, starts 220, 225, 230, clean jerk, 260, 265, 270, and there's your 500 kilo title. Um, I doubt it would be that. It would be more like a 250, 260, 270. Um, big guys like that can take massive jumps. It's not a real stress to him to do big jumps like that. Um, but again, remember, this This guy has to follow himself in competitions too. I'll, I'll chuck that in at the end there. He has to follow himself because everyone else is done. So he's got that two minutes time between each attempt or as the, ref, as the as his coaches would do would be stagger them out, make them change the weights more, give them three minutes maybe to, to do everything. But he has to follow himself. He's in that position where his attempts, his 250, his 260, and his 270, if that was the jumps he was made, I don't think you might have one or two of those guys attempt it, maybe get it. I don't see them going too much over 250. So he might have a break between his 250 and 260, but he'll never get a break between his 260 and 270 or or whatever his attempt is from his second to his third because there's just no one there. Um, <laughs> a good problem and a bad problem to have for him, but... Um, yeah, look, the Olympics are coming up quick, smart. I think it's going to be a fantastic competition uh, in every way category. It's going to be a lot of fun to see what the results are. I think it's going to be a very hit or miss competition. I have a feeling like the athletes are going to be uh, maybe a little bit mentally sidetracked from the world being the way it is, but I can still see some amazing results coming out. Um, and uh, hopefully it runs well. All the athletes are safe. That's the most important thing to come out of this is safety, health, and well-being and crowning our um, Olympic champions. So, yeah, that's a bit of a rundown on my thoughts into Lasher leading into the Olympics. If there's any thoughts or your comments, chuck them in the comment section below. Uh, I look forward to hearing from as many people as possible. I love the feedback. I love people's thoughts to hear what your 
Thoughts are on Lash's step forward into the Olympics and where he will go with his 500 kilo title. Uh, we'll look to do another video, maybe in regards to uh, some other weight classes leading to the Olympics or some of the other training sessions. As goodness knows what he'll do in the next few months, he could do a 500 kilo title tomorrow if he really wanted to. So um, we'll see what happens to everyone. Stay safe, stay well, stay healthy, and we'll see you all very soon.